Okay, we're going to start working on our next page. Um, I cut out the circles that I used for the lollipop uh, flower that we put on the first page of our mini. So I'm going to do that again, except for, well, actually I'm going to use the little distressor. And this is the uh, Tim Holtz distressor, if anybody's wondering. Okay, so I have those done. I also want to distress one more thing, so I'm going to set those aside. I have this piece of pattern or solid cardstock, which is going to go right onto the front of this page of my mini. So, but what I want to do is I'm going to take this piece of pattern paper here, and it's the full it's a full sheet, and I'm just going to use this bottom corner. So I'm kind of just putting my paper on here, and I'm going to tear my paper right off. So that's going to go down in the bottom right here. So I'm going to go ahead and distress this. I'm not going to use this full piece, but so I'm just distressing this with my distressor and then I'm also going to wet it to help curl it a little bit. Okay, so I'm going to take this. I just have a, a piece of paper toweling down. I'm just going to take this and spray a little bit of water on it, just along the edge there. And I curl this up. And you can even maybe do a couple of tears here and there. Give it a really torn look there. Maybe I'm going to maybe tear it a little bit more so that it curls to the side like this. Okay, so I'm just going to use I'm going to use my heat gun to dry this up. Okay, so that should be pretty good there. So that will get put right onto here. And this is kind of like a mat, and I could stick a photo back here. And then I have my lollipop or my circles, and I'm going to spray these and wrinkle these up. I'm going to do both sides. And then I'll just take them in my hands and wrinkle them up. And then once I have these open, I will heat them or dry them with my heat gun. So we're going to go with the blue. Did this one. That one and then that one. Okay, so I'm just going to dry these real quick with my my heat gun.
Okay, so I have those done. Let me just get this piece of paper toweling out of here. And I'm going to go ahead and now layer these. And I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to rotate the color. So it'll be like this. And then this is my crocodile sitting right here. I'll just use that to punch my, my hole in the center. And then we'll use, I think we'll use one of these brads here in the center. So it's a little off center, but I'm fine with that. I wanted it to be just a little, a little crazy there. All right, so that's going to get layered down in the bottom here. So first what I need to do is put this on, and I don't think I want it to go up as high. I think I want it to be down a little lower. I do. So I'm just going to use my scissors and I'll just trim this off. And then I'll take my ATG gun and put adhesive on the back of this. And I'm not going to go all the way up it. Here, I'm not going to go all the way up here in case I need to, I want to stick my photo or whatever I'm doing. They're going to put there. So I'm keeping this page really, really simple. So this is just another photo mat page. So I just trim that off the side there. And then what I'm going to do is go ahead and adhere this down. So that'll go right on here. And then I could put my little lollipop flower wherever I want it to be. So I think I'm going to add a little something else to this. I have a piece of red ribbon. I think I'm going to kind of tie that. put that on there and then put this this down so it gives it a little bit something extra. I'll do it this way. I think that is what I'm going to do. But part of me wants to put it right here too where that little rip is. And I think that's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm just going to use a glue dot cuz I don't have my hot glue gun on. So I'm just going to put a glue dot on my ribbon and I'll wrap this right around my finger just like that. I'll put another glue dot right in the back of this and then we need one on the back of our flower here. And I'm just going to put that on there. That'll go there. And then I will use my scissors wherever I put them and trim this off. And then I'll just put this right down onto my page. So I kept that one really, really simple. So I'm just going to go ahead and put my adhesive on the back of it. I probably should have put this on first, but that's all right. Work around it. All right, we'll just layer this right into the center of my page. Okay, so like I said, we kept that one really simple. And now we're going to start working on this side. Okay, for the next page, I cut out these little frames, and they're actually from the um, freshly picked Cricut cartridge. So I'm just going to go over to that cartridge, and it's the freshly picked, freshly picked, and I used these, um, let's see, they're called frames, and the shift key, and I thought these were really cool. It reminded me of like a Polaroid picture. So I added those to my mat, and I made these a special size. Um, its width is 3.68, and its height is 4.45 because it was kind of square, and I wanted it more rectangle. 
And then I took from the tags bag of boxes and more cartridge and used this um, tag that we used before, and this measures four and a quarter. And then this tag top I got from the from my kitchen. Let's see where is that? From my kitchen. And I selected the tabs key and we used this one right here. So I added that to my mat and that one measures three and a quarter. So let's go ahead and I'll show you how to put this one together. Oh, let me just tell you this. I did cut out three of these um, frames in cardstock and one in the pattern paper. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so we're working on this page right here and we have our pieces all cut out. So I have my pattern paper and then I have my three pieces in the cardstock and my tag and my tag topper. And then I also cut out a piece of cardstock that measures, um, well, actually it'll just go right across the back of this frame, and the frame will look just like this. And I'll leave this top part open in between these two pieces so that I can slide my picture in. So we're going to first go ahead and start adhering our frame together. So we're going to do, I'm just going to use my ATG gun for this one. Um, I'm going to go right across the top here. and then right on the sides and the bottom. And then we'll go ahead and layer our two frames together. I think if I start down in the corner, I'll be able to line this up the best way. And then the last one we have to do, which will be our pattern paper. So again, when you layer, I know I've said this probably a couple of times now, but when you layer a couple pieces of cardstock together, you get something that's very close to chipboard. Works just as good. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my top layer here, which will be my pattern paper. And then I'll go ahead and it take that and adhere it to my green piece. This time though, I'm not going to adhere the top, I'm just going to adhere the sides because I want to make sure I leave room to slide my picture in. So we're going to do the sides and then the bottom path. So I'm just going to go ahead and line that up onto my green piece of cardstock. So there we go. So now we have a little section right here Let me just make sure that's adhered down really well. There we go. And now I have a little pocket right here that I can add my picture frame. Or the picture, I mean, that I'm going to put in there. So before I adhere this down, I'm going to do something else. I'm going to try something. And I'm going to take this piece of satin ribbon. And I want to have this go right across here. Um, so we're going to try this. I'm not sure if this will work. So I'm just going to put a piece of adhesive right there, and I'm also going to put it on my ribbon. Because I want to make sure I have a really good stick. So let me trim this because it's a little frayed. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and stick this down. And I'm going to start kind of doing a little bit of a pleating thing and I don't want it to be perfect I want it to be a little a little crazy so there we go I'm just going to trim that off. Now if you wanted to, you didn't want these pieces sticking up, you could just put a little bit of um, adhesive or even little glue dots or whatever, even hot glue right along the back, but I actually kind of like it with, I didn't want it to be perfect, I want it to be a little. So this is the last one to this Simple Sentiments um, that I, I had in my collection, and I'm just going to go ahead and I think, I don't want to put it right on top, I'm going to put it 
right in the center of the frame, just like that. Okay, and then this is going to get put right onto my page here, but I'm not going to adhere that directly down. I'm going to use some pop dots for this. So I'm just going to go ahead and I don't want to put any pop tops going across the top. I'm just going to do this right along the sides and what I did was I cut these in half. And I'm going to be making a little kind of pocket area to put a tag in. And that's the tag with the tag topper that we cut out so we're just going to go ahead and add lots of these little adhesive. All right, so I'm just going to take that and see I have the pop dots. I put the thinner pieces over here and the thicker ones down the bottom. And I'm just going to go ahead and adhere this down. And I'm putting it fairly close to my binding, but not too close. Okay, so now I created a little pocket area in the back here. So now what we're going to do is take my tag, and I have my tag right here, and that's going to go right in the back and see it has plenty of room. But I don't want it to make I wanted to make sure it doesn't fall down. So that's where the little topper comes in. So we're just going to go ahead and put this right on to our tag. So I'm just going to go ahead and add my adhesive on here. I'm going to start right in the front and then I'll turn it over and line it up like that. Okay, so now I created a cute little tag and I didn't line it up too good. Well, it doesn't have to be perfect, does it? Okay, so I'm going to take one more. Brad and just put that right at the top and let's see I think I'm going to use I think I want this yellow one so I'm just going to open the brad up in the back hopefully this one seems to be stuck together all right that one's not working for me so let's take we'll take this little outer space one here. Wait, this one's the same way. They're kind of like glued together or something. There we go. Okay, so I have my little brad there and that'll go right into here. Just like that. Okay, so if I wanted to I can actually even add a, and I think I'm going to have to trim this. I'm going to make this a little bit shorter, only because I don't want it to, there we go, I don't want it to be sticking out here. So, and I actually might even make another tag. I have another one here. I think I'm going to make another one to sit, to fit inside and have two tags. All right, so this one's a little bit larger, but that's okay. I'm going to trim it down so it's about the same height. And then I'll take this one, and I think I'll go with the other side. Different color. And we'll add our adhesive to this. I was going to use this for something else, and then I changed my mind. So I'm glad I left it sitting here. Because I can add this one, too, to my, to my page. So, all right, I'm just going to line this up on the front. And then we'll fold it over, just like that. Okay, and then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to add a brad to this one as well. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? Let's do something different. I'm going to open this up, and I'm going to hear the two of them together. And they'll be able to kind of swivel. So I'm just going to line this up. Take my crap dial and I'm going to punch a hole in the same spot. And then I'll stick my brad in there. And then I can use this for pictures and journaling. And that will get stuck right inside 
here, right in the back. Okay, so that's that page. This was our first page that we did, and that's our second page. All right, well, that is page number four. We have one more page to do, and we're not going to do both sides of that one. We're just going to do the front side, because it, then it's the back of our album. And then we'll work on binding. So I'll see you in the next video. Bye.